This episode of Capes of Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. On that note... That's right. Thank you, Charlie Esser. This will be our Ed McMahon. Nothing records and drops. But I am Phil, and joining me, as always, she's been waiting for this for 68 episodes, is... Hey, y'all, it's Lilith. Come get luck. Come on, get lucky. Hellfire. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't make sense now. It will in a minute. Why? Because we're talking sexy, fun issues of Deadpool and Domino for episode 69. What episode? Episode 69! I was going to say. Come on. <laughs> That's right. We're actually at episode 69, not like uh, episode 55 where we uh, talked about Deadpool 69. This is actually... <laughs> R69. <laughs> One of many. Oh, well. <laughs> um, so, actually, we should have done a poll what people think is the sexiest Deadpool issue. And we'll just go ahead and let you guys, if you don't agree with our pick, send in some damn listener feedback then. If you don't you wanted- think this is the sexiest episode. The sexiest issue of Deadpool. You wanted a poll for episode 69? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beavis and Butthead! That is totally us. Charlie is Daria. <laughs> oh, please. He's, uh, what's his face, the neighbor? He's Hank. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so, Tristan, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> so, what issue of Deadpool did you pick for sexiest? Um, oh, uh, we're going with the Deadpool? Uh, I picked... I don't know, so many are sexy, but I had to pick Deadpool Team Up 892, because they were counting backwards from, like, 900 or something. <laughs> uh, guest starring Satana, not... To that's right, with, with an S, not a Z. Uh, that's right, because it's more... <laughs> you know, actually, the more I thought about it, I was like, I would love for this to be Zantana's origin, actually. <laughs> make, it would make a little more sense than what we got. But this one, but this one is like the daughter of a de- one of the devils, and uh, I believe she's uh, Damon Hellstrom's uh, sister. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I just hear Charlie has her now. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> but I mean, come on. For those of you on our YouTube, who don't tell me this, know, why tell me this ain't the sexiest issue with Deadpool. I mean, that is like Power Girl proportions right there. <laughs> I mean, Maybe a little, a little smaller. <laughs> and isn't this like what she said? It's one that of is her... a boob window, sir. And, and didn't she say this is one of her older forms? Because like I don't know, there's some magic spell that made her revert back to it. Yeah. Oh, it's not even just the front either. <laughs> it was like, okay, I'll see you, tell you I'll ghoul, I'll raise you a power girl, and then go all in. <laughs> like that's holy a... crap, this artist had some fun. And that's a good. On hand, probably. That's a very good description for those of you who have never seen it. Yes, it's like if Power Girl tried to put on Talia's outfit. Yes, I mean you could see belly button and everything. I mean, like I said, it's a real boob window. <laughs> oh yeah, it goes down to like right below, right above the pelvis. <laughs> you know, funny thing is, I've never seen anybody cosplay as her ever. We'll see. You'll be original. Oh, no, not me. Ah. I'm sticking to my Winnie the Pooh Bear costume. <laughs> what? Who oh, bother? Good Lord. Whoever goes with me has to be Christopher Robin or Piglet. Those are the only two choices you get. What happened to your Misty Knight or, um, what kind of one were you working on? Oh, uh, Power Girl 2. Those are for later. Those are for later. Oh. Halloween is for, for innocent fun. Oh, it's for Halloween. I thought you meant cosplay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. uh, I was gonna say, who are you saving? Who are you saving those for? <laughs> Don't you worry about it. <laughs> anyway, this uh, I, I like this issue a lot. It's also a lot of fun. Yeah, and yeah. Love. We get a we well, get like lust, a, shall we say? <laughs> yeah, so we get the 
Mephisto and a bunch of the other devils, like... Mephisto! Masquer- <laughs> yes, I know. Masquerading. Okay, if you don't know why we hate Mephisto, it's because he erased Peter Parker and Mary Jane's marriage. That's why we hate Mephisto. That's right. Bring it back! <laughs> Every time we talk about Mephisto, we have to say that. It's like in our contract. Sorry. Phil is, Phil, is that you? I love Ben Riley. Now I'm Phil. Ah, it's my drop. <laughs> gotcha. <Anyway. laughs> so, yeah. I, I thought this if, that issue was fun, too, because um, they take his mask off, and she's like, I've seen worse. And that just makes his little little heart pitter-patter even more. Uh-huh. And for all you ladies... <laughs> just so stupid. <laughs> for all you ladies, in the beginning, he's, he's in a towel and his mask. That's it. <laughs> oh, man. I think a running gag from now on for every issue of like that new Deadpool, they should have him in the Ferris Bueller robe as a tie-in to the movie. <laughs> ah! that, that's my petition. Uh, but yeah, it's so funny, like all the, all the uh, various, the various uh, devils of the Marvel Universe are like, comp- they were competing for Satana, the control of Satana. And they were so misogynistic and chauvinistic as well. They Screw were, the patriarchy. Well, it was old school too because they wanted like a controlling interest in hell or something. Yeah, like, I know. I'm just joking. Yeah, I know. But at the end of the day, it is kind of weird and creepy. Even for hell, you would think hell would be a much more progressive place, to be honest. Uh, really? Because I think that's where all the liberal swine's going to end up. I'm kidding. <gasps> I'm kidding. Wow. <laughs> I'm joking. That's right. <laughs> Train the swamp. <laughs> oh, Lord, what's in that? What's in that bottle you're drinking? This is all water today. I promise. No f bomb shall be heard today. <laughs> Maybe an s bomb, but no f bomb. <laughs> hey, that's all right. I mean, I I'm ready to go full out because did you hear the last episode of Heroes by the Pint? Not yet. Oh my Lord! Every five minutes they were talking about hand jobs. See, now that's a podcast after my own heart. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you guys, but the minute Rob Southgate comes out of their house, I'm going to be like, have you heard that? Their venom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Phil will throw, throw a podcast under the bus. We know now. <laughs> oh, heck yes. Anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, like I said, I like the story. I, I thought it was a really good pick. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. definitely the- an A story. I was surprised. I was like, mm, I don't know. Santana seems kind of like a knockoff a little bit. I don't know about this. And then it's just his own fun little story. I think we never see her again. (laughs) Do you know? Um, I believe was that yeah in that in a couple months ago in that Spirits of Vengeance miniseries. I think she was in there. Yeah, with yeah with Ghost Rider and Hellstorm and um, Blade. It only took ten, nine, eleven, thirteen years. Yeah, I know. I think she might have been in some. Was she in? Was it? Was she in a Dark Avengers or Thunderbolt somewhere? I'm thinking yes. I can't remember. Oh, oh. oh sorry. I bless you. Uh, but yeah, I mean, these are. I think these are both this issue and the other one we're going to cover. Are good for um current for episode sixty nine. So not only are they sexy fun time, but there is like that um. The supernatural element of each because this episode is in Octo- October, so a couple weeks early for Halloween, but still. And did you hear anything I just said? No, sorry. Okay. That's okay. No, I just said these two issues I think are good for the episode 69 because they're sexy, fun time, but they also have the uh, supernatural angle, which is good for October. Yes. So, what did you give um, the team up issue? Um. Hmm. I don't know if I should give this. Uh, I guess I'll give it a B. I was about to give it a double D, but I guess I'll give it a B. <laughs> well, if we are doing it backwards. Oh yeah. <laughs> if they were coming for the issue, they were coming backwards. You can't go ahead and give it a double D or a big old <laughs> motorboat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Speaking as a woman of experience. <laughs> Hey man, I like strip clubs, whatever. 
I give it. I definitely would give it a double D or or an A plus if you're gonna be a lame lame duck. <laughs> Boy, you really like this issue, huh? I do, and I think it pairs perfectly with this this month's issue, a domino no, which is domino number seven. Oh yes, that came out just came out today as of this recording. And uh, any lonely teenage boys, just tack that on your wall, buddy. Okay. I love Domino shirts. My boyfriend was an X Force and all I got was this lousy t shirt. <gasps> I know, I saw that. I was like, oh, we need something like that. Like, we need to put that on like the t shirt site. We need something like that. Like, you know, for me and Charlie's wife, we can get my husband's on the Capes and Lunatics, and all I got was this lousy t shirt. And like, for any man, you, know, <gasps> you can get those out as like, it's like gift baskets whenever <laughs> when you rotate the boyfriends out. It's like oh, I dated I dated Little Hellfire and all I got was I this lousy t shirt. <gasps> I dated Little Hell Little Hellfire and all I got was the best sex of my life in this t shirt. <laughs> You're funny. Um, I love the panda the panda uh, slippers too. Like there was just, oh my god, this this issue. What is well, this? Judging by the co- let's just talk about the cover real quick. <laughs> yeah. So the cover is a classic bait and switch, but in a good way. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's like, oh, it's going to be that kind of story. And then you see freaking Domino in her damn mopey pajamas. <laughs> well, it's 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 the contrast between uh, the image of her on that. Uh, exactly. The, I ad. want this as an actual like poster, in my, like, a, like a framed poster in my room. Oh, my. I like that one because I like gambling, to be honest. <laughs> it is good, but... <laughs> She's like, I'm a mascot now. Uh, I love when the ladies are together, and it's like it's a lot of downtime in this issue. Like, I like the fact that Gail's not afraid to like just have them be hanging out and not all like constant action or you know sexy fun times and stuff like that. I mean, I I, I don't know if it's fair to make the comparison, but I mean, it's like Marvel birds of Marvel birds of prey. I think that's an accurate comparison. Uh, yeah. And you know, in the best, but not the best even way, arguably, yeah. not even arguably, the best person running Birds of Prey was Gail Simone. So it kind of makes sense. Yes, but they get him. They get, but they get a uh, job from what is it? A sixteen-year-old uh, uh, Wakandan girl. <laughs> <They're so> derivative. <laughs> Always, come on, it's way <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they they. They get a job to, uh, it's a little risky, but they have to go where <laughs> to pick up a box. <laughs> box, he said box. <laughs> um, okay, like, Sounds there's nothing naughty, cool- Now that I'm saying it. There's nothing cooler than snow skis. Sorry. Oh, there's yeah. And this is a, as a person that lives in Florida and hates jet ski people, okay? And hates snow. Snowmobiles are amazing. <laughs> It's the best thing about snow, and I love this whole action sequence in this issue. Oh, it's, yeah, eastern Norway, uh, 30 kilometers from the Swedish border. Uh, she has to be cold, though. I'm sorry. Who, Outlaw? <laughs> yeah. Because she's basically wearing a... Uh... She's wearing a leather bikini, bro. Exactly. That is some Xena... That's like... And cowboy warm. boots. <laughs> now, cowboy boots will keep your feet warm. Especially because you have to wear double socks or you get blisters. But I story speaking from experience. <laughs> but I wonder if maybe she doesn't feel the cold because she is a mutant. Sure. I don't Anything know. Anything to maybe. keep the sexy fun times alive. I, I have no complaints. She's a mutant. Doesn't have them have like healing factors and stuff. <laughs> the cowboy hat keeps her warm. <laughs> she yeah, has I mean, a scarf on. It's just so fu- It's just so funny. Diamondback and Domino are in like parkas and stuff, and yeah, she's just sitting there. Right there. She doesn't even have goggles. She's got a scarf. She's she's too cool for school, man. And that's okay with me. <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah. But again, for October, I mean, is they get attacked by uh, vampires, lady spooky, vampires, creepy, <coughs> spooky, creepy forest. That was the first mistake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mutant or not, you never go into spooky, creepy forest. Oh, speaking of this, reminded me. Um, I know Charlie and I have been listening to it. Have you listened to any of that uh, Wolverine the Long Night podcast yet? Mm-mm. Okay. It good? It's okay. I mean, at, we were, that's what we were saying on Super Connectivity. I don't know if it's like... I mean, Wolverine's barely in it, but I mean, it is interesting, but 
as a Wolverine story might be disappointed, but and I guess they just said the other day it's getting like a comic book adaptation in January or something. Really? Mm-hmm. That's interesting. But I mean, it's out free now. They they're dropping one a week. Yeah. <clears throat> How far, I mean, is it going to be 12 episodes? Or? I think, because episode 6, I think, came out today. They're only, like, 30-minute episodes, so. Okay. I mean, maybe once they all drop, because I, I just like to get to the point now. Like, I, I wait for yeah. the trades. I just, I just want to get to the point. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like sophisticated suspense anymore. I want my action, and I want it now. So, let Sounds me know when that's so all naughty, right. now that I'm saying it. I mean, it is me. <laughs> Queen of the double entendre. <laughs> God, God help our listeners. <laughs> are you still there? Oh, you are? They are. <laughs> Th- thanks, buddy. <laughs> Hi- thanks, Hi- <laughs> Th- Thank you, Toxin Gamer. <laughs> I, do, I think my favorite panel was when they were talking about you. You, we own a casino, and you have uh, luck powers. We have to make the customers think that work, luck is working with them, not against them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Make the customers think your luck's working for them, not against. Them. So funny. Like the house always wins. I can only imagine if the mutant had luck powers. <laughs> I mean, I like it. It's original, but I wonder what oh, Gail. We need to talk to you. I I need to know what was the inspiration for the riverboat. Tina Turner. Proud <laughs> Mary. Rolling. No, Rolling. <laughs> you know what? If you tweet her, she might answer you. Mm, true. Um, or should, she could just show you with some velocity. I should, many, many reasons why I love that woman. <laughs> I should tweet her from Wayne's World and be like, since you, since you won't come and speak to us in person, can you answer me a question on the tweet? <laughs> Riddle me this, Miss Simone. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah. That um was that supposed to be Morbius in Nightcrawler's baby or Morbius? Because it looks like Morbius and Nightcrawler had a baby. <laughs> that was my only pick with the issue. I think it's it was just the art the, the artist interpretation, but it is Morbius because they even called it Morbius. I'm just like, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, but it always depends who's drawing him, and I don't know. He's like in the OG costume and got that. I know. It's just like, oh my god, this is. Ah, oh, cause I, I don't know. Maybe we are getting a Morbius movie now, cause that was just so random. I'm like, really? Well, the, well seems Venom made some money, so <laughs> we could. <laughs> I mean, if we're not gonna get the Blade, you know, movies going, yeah. Cause honestly, I don't think I could ever accept anybody other than Wesley Snipes. I think that's why the TV show didn't do well. Maybe. So, oh, and then. I, I mean, uh, kill them all. Good luck with that, buddy. That's that's not a cliffhanger. <laughs> so what? He, th- he, th- he thinks Domin is a vampire because she's part mostly white. Yeah. <laughs> right. Ugh. Racist. <laughs> it's like how do you? I mean, maybe just because they're there or with Morbius, but it's like in this world of mutants and gods and who knows what else, you're just gonna jump to the conclusion she's a vampire. <laughs> I just like it. Bring in Blade, the Harkers. Bring in everyone with grudge against the bloodsuckers. My bet, my favorite is, but he's a living vampire, right? What does that even mean? That's not how any of this works. Doesn't matter. It's provocative. It means. It means <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. No, it's not. It's get some people going. <laughs> it means he changed himself through science, not mysticism. You know what? Science greater than mysticism in the Marvel Universe. Just saying. Okay, Charlie. It's true. I mean, I know. mystics suck. I love to disagree with you, but that was a very Charlie Esser line. It's uh, something Charlie Esser would like. <laughs> it's, it's something Charlie Esser would like. Let me just put it to you that way. <laughs> People, just just write in with your favorite drop and we'll play it, because that's what Lil is just it's doing right now. Me. She's like, she's, she's like, just play this drop. <laughs> I mean, oh, I'm sorry. It's not capes. It, I mean, it's more apparent than capes and lunatics. <laughs> With our I'm not clothes. a fancy man. <laughs> That's my favorite one, I think. Welcome Next to, to Smoke and Doobie. <laughs> you know what I haven't played in a while. I don't care if you call me a whore or you call me your princess. Perfect. Perfect for this episode. 
This should be just be like episode sixty nine, the Charlie the Charlie oh, yeah, Asser like uh, retrospective, yeah. <laughs> the work. <laughs> he gets a lifetime achievement award. <laughs> he he's the only one that has done tasteful nudity on camera, so it makes sense. I was gonna say, oh okay, good <laughs> way to throw that on camera in there. <laughs> For money. <laughs> hey! I hope at least. <laughs> Poor Charlie. Lilith will fix it, because Lilith fixes everything. <laughs> or Lilith drops an F-bomb, and it's hilarious because she's drunk. <laughs> I way. know the hip language the kids use these days. But I was surprised that they were dealing with vampires, for sure. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't like an interesting twist. Like, okay, I see you, Gil. We're, we're going to have some fun times because it's October. Because we Can't were... Ve- you for that. Because we were very entrenched in the mutant thing in the first arc, and uh, even like the mm-hmm. annual, yeah, now, and she shifts. Hey, way to keep it fresh. I still say I think the annual is my favorite issue so far, though. It is good, yeah. I was thinking, this was fun, definitely. I was thinking of reaching out to uh, Leah Williams, who wrote, uh, I think she wrote two stories in the annual, I believe. Was it, was it the Nightcrawler one? I th- Yeah, the Nightcrawler one, and I think there was one other one. I'm trying to remember which one. Yeah, we should do that. Since Gail won't talk to us. She's so busy. Like, I know. That plastic man, we should, once it's done, we should probably do a recap. And we can have Charlie. Yeah, we can do a comic capers or something. Yeah. I, I was just do... thinking about that, because it's almost done. <laughs> yeah, that, and uh, you know what has one issue left? I want to review as a whole member of Mr. Miracle. Yeah. Wasn't Charlie reading that, too? Or did uh, he that? No, I don't think he was reading that. Mentioned it a couple of weeks ago or a month yeah. ago. I don't think so. Dark side is. <laughs> so I would give this issue an A as well. I like this. I like that it's fun. Like, yeah, I'm so sick of these serious comic books. Look at you, Batman. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, don't be a dick. <laughs> Outprint. Outline. <laughs> Don't be a douche or the bag it came in. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, so I thought that the art was great. The story was fun. I guess we're going to be... Are, I mean, we're going to continue the story with vampires? I mean, it looks like Morbius is on the cover of next issue, so I, I would assume so. Like Morbius just screams like old school to me, and that's what I really like about Gail. She has like such an appreciation for like... The weird and odd stuff, and everybody's like, like whether it's DC or Marvel's like franchise, like she likes Plastic Man. That's like really random and odd. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then to bring up Morbius, she just thinks like old school vibes from Marvel. Because when's the last time Morbius did anything interesting? I mean, it's probably easier and more interesting to do some of these characters. Like, you have as many fiction, probably, yeah, like, like a Plastic Man or a Morbius. Because like if you do Spider Man or something or Batman, it's like yeah, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this, yeah. yeah. And Unless it, your business in DC, then they just give you free reign. And you're in six books, so, and he's in six books, so think about the scheduling and this. Oh <laughs> oh, that will never, Plastic Man will never have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, true. But yeah, I agree with you uh, on the A on this one, yes. So if you guys haven't picked it up, definitely pick it up. Highly recommend it. We, and definitely look for a back issue. We love it. The Esther Man loves it. But yeah, the Capes of Lunatics always give this book a big thumbs up. We do. And if you don't like it, fight me, nerd. Basically. 69. Episode 69. The episode of Sexy Fun Time. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> supernatural and basically all most of our drops. Infinite drops. <laughs> but hey, we go. <laughs> if you want to send us a personal drop, you know we have a voicemail, right? Oh my. <laughs> Who's she talking to? <laughs> It's Wade's world. You don't know what kind of nonsense you're going to get up to. So true. What about our Quasar podcast, The Quantum Zone? That's another day. (laughs) I need need you to put that in every episode from here on out, seriously. What, Will saying that? Yes. Okay. I'll I'll add the time for myself. There's like awkward silence between Charlie and I, like after we're done talking about like Bojack Horseman or something, just... (laughs) <laughs> to penetrate the screeching silence. Oh yes, yes, yes. I just, oh, Where will I'll, be the I, I will shame. I will shamelessly promote myself in any of my other shows, of course. 
I'm just surprised what that about that's Will. podcast, the Quantum Zone. <laughs> that's more of a you thing. <laughs> How'd you get him into that? Well, I told him I needed a drop for that mo- for uh, that oh, episode yeah. of Moon Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. I play that almost like almost at the beginning of every Quantum Zone. Now he loves it. Oh, uh, we'll have to do like a whole big like everybody on capes and lunatics and sidekicks get yeah. together. I'm trying to think of a big special New Year's Eve party. Yeah, but that, we'll, we'll record it before New Year's Eve because you guys know I'm gonna be a out of town and b drunk as hell. She's <laughs> so it have to be before. She's gonna be puking all over Vegas. Yeah. Puking? What? No. I don't puke. No. Well, sorry. I'm gonna you're... definitely put the town right. <laughs> oh. well, I was gonna say urinate on Vegas. <laughs> Anyway, let's give them some shameless plugs. All right, everyone. If you want to uh, discuss anything you heard here today, I don't know why you would, but you can always email us, wadesworldpod at gmail.com, facebook.com slash wadesworldpodcast. Give us the thumb, uh, at wadesworldpod and at CL Sidekicks on Twitter. Uh, follow us on the gram, Wade's World Deadpool Podcast and CL Sidekicks and the voicemail, 614-382-2737. That's 614-38CAPES. And Lilith? On that no. note. <laughs> if you know it's going to fight me at Lil Hellfire, uh, the Arrowverse is back in full effect starting Sunday. We've got Supergirl followed by the uh, season premiere Arrow. And then, unfortunately, episode two of season five of Flash. Hopefully it's better than the premiere. <laughs> if, you got, if you guys want to talk small little issues with me, you know where to find me. Save me podcast. Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. But I just I'm show up the- and look pretty and spout big words and then I'm done. <laughs> ah, so full of herself. What can I say? <laughs> All right, that was we- directed at Charlie for reference. Out of text. Uh, out of text drop is out of context. And I boomerang right back at you. All right, we torched teams enough this episode. Thank That's you for That's a wrap on episode 69. Yeah, 69. Poor Kelly. I know. But hey, if you would like, I know you weren't too thrilled with our Captain Marvel special coming up, although everyone else is. If you want to join us for the Carol Danvers one, Kelly is joining us. It- is that is there a new book going to be out by then? Uh, we're going to record it sometime in January, and that's when the book is out in January. So okay, yeah, because I'll give you the take. I'll be like, I hate Carol, <laughs> so you can make me like it. Yeah. yeah. Sixty nine.